Hi, I'm Kendra with Where's the Moon Astrology, and today I am talking about the moon in Leo. So, of course, if you don't know your moon sign, I'm leaving a link in the description of this video where you can easily and quickly find out what your moon sign is, since most people who, you know, only know a little bit about astrology only know their sun sign. Also, I wanted to talk really quickly about the uh, difference between the energy of the sun and the energy of the moon. Essentially, the sun is going to be the qualities that you're displaying loudly and proudly. Um, this is going to be your ego. It's going to be your conscious will. So this is these are qualities that you're portraying very consciously. Um, and your ego is kind of these uh, traits, these qualities. Um, the moon is going to be a lot more subtle. It's going to be talking, uh, speaking to your uh, knee-jerk emotional reactions, the things that comfort you emotionally, um, the things that uh, are really unconscious to you. And of course, the moon also speaks to the relationship with the mother, etc. So, for instance, with, with the sign of Leo, the sun in Leo is going to be very um, consciously, you know, Leo is a sign that's very, very much has to do with the ego. It is ruled by the sun. So it is going to be a very kind of um, a little bit of a domineering energy. It's going to be a little bit more in your face than Leo moon. You wouldn't really be able to look at a Leo moon and say that's a, that's a really like, you know, confident person. That's somebody who's very, very um, even arrogant, which can sometimes be a trait of, you know, Leo sun. You wouldn't really know that just from looking at a Leo moon. Um, that's going to be, you know, Leo sun is going to be a lot more vibrantly expressing the traits of Leo. But Leo moon is going to be, um, this is going to be who you are on a deep emotional level. So you're even more authentically Leo than, you know, a Leo sun might be. So moon and Leo, first of all, this is, this is a placement that shows that you are very emotionally involved in things that give you pride. So for instance, um, you really need to feel proud of all that you do. You need to feel um, that you are doing the best that you can do, and you need to be able to say, this is what I did, and this is who I'm with, and this is what I have, and it makes me proud, and I'm, you know, not ashamed to show you that. So, for instance, I've, I've been in a long-term relationship, I'm not anymore, but I was in a long-term relationship with a Leo Moon individual, and we used to butt heads a lot, because I would say, why do you always have to buy the most expensive thing? You know, we, we shared finances at the time, and I, I just didn't understand why he always had to buy the most expensive thing. And, um, you know, we wanted to, I wanted to save money. I wanted to invest in our future. And he would always answer me, I just want to be proud of the things that I have. When somebody comes to my house, I want to, I want to, you know, feel good about what I have and the things that are, you know, the things I've been able to, you know, provide for you, the things I've been able to provide for me. I want to feel good about that. I want to feel proud. And, um, that's not even something that I would have guessed about him, really, because he's a Virgo son. He comes off very unassuming. He comes off very, um, you know, he has more of a subtle energy about him. But the Leo moon really drives his uh, decisions and the things that he wants to invest in um, long term because that he, he knows what's going to emotionally satisfy him, him. And for him, that is being proud of what he has. So when you have the moon in Leo, you are going to want to feel proud of what you have. You're going to want to feel proud of the way you look. Um, you're going to want to feel proud of what you've accomplished. You're going to want to feel proud of who you're with. All of this is extremely important to you. Moon in Leo is also going to be um, kind of emotionally wrapped up in what they're able to do creatively. So being creative, um, you know, expressing yourself through music, expressing yourself through art, um, Again, being proud of what you have been able to accomplish creatively and what you've been able to give birth to and put out into the world. You know, Leo's naturally tied to the fifth house, which is all about creativity. Um, that's going to be very important for you and very emotionally comforting for you as well. Um, what's going to make the moon in Leo feel secure? Um, I think that for Moon and Leo, the words of affirmation are, they're, they're big on words of affirmation as far as like love language. They're going to want to um, hear that you're proud of them. They're going to want to hear that they did good, um, that you, uh, 
you made them happy in some way, that they look good to you, that all of these things, all of these affirmations are going to be really important to the moon and Leo. That's going to make them feel secure. It's going to make them feel that you love them. Um, and it's going to kind of affirm that they are doing what they need to do in order to you know, have that emotional security, that they have something to be proud of because you're proud of them. As far as, um, you know, the mother, the moon is tied to the mother, your experience of the mother. So um, for the positive manifestation of the moon and Leo mother, this would have been somebody who, first of all, probably very protective of you because um, Leo is like that, um, you know, the mother lion. So they're, they're going to be very protective of their cubs. Um, this is going to be somebody who had a very strong presence in your life, someone who um, kind of had almost a domineering energy, somebody who's very creative and vibrant and probably um, was similar to you in the sense that she, you know, wanted to be proud of everything. She wanted to always be looking her best, always wanted to um, have you look your best. And again, you know, you would kind of take these traits from her because she always wanted you to look your best. She always wanted um, everyone in your family to, you know, have this image and have, you know, be showing traits that she could be proud of. And that, that could definitely easily go in a negative direction, but it doesn't have to be negative by itself. So she would have wanted to feel proud of you. She would have wanted to feel proud of her home environment. And she would have definitely had a bit of an ego. And again, that domineering presence. Now, the negative manifestation of the moon and Leo would have been almost exactly the same, except, um, you know, unhealthy. Like wanting you to look your best and be your best despite what it is that you wanted. She would have wanted you to look and look and be and do the things that make her proud instead of what makes you proud. Um, and instead of what, uh, what emotionally comforts you, it would have been what is going to make her feel the most secure. Um, and she would have kind of maybe consumed your individuality a little bit in this way, which is what makes it really important for you. And this is something I didn't really mention, but for the moon and Leo, it's going to be very important to feel that you are an individual, that you are, you know, creatively and uniquely your own, and that you are um, maybe a bit above the rest. You are, uh, you're definitely an individual. Um, you know, Leo being directly opposite Aquarius, which is much more about the collective, um, Leo is a sign that is very much to do with the individual and what you as an individual are bringing to the table. So you would really want um, to feel like an individual, that you are different and that you are special. Um, that is going to be very important to the moon and Leo. Um, and I think that definitely part of this would have come from uh, from a negative moon and uh, Leo mother relationship. This could have come from your mother kind of consuming your individuality with her interests and her needs, etc. So um, that's really all I have to say about the moon in Leo. Uh, please let me know in the uh, in the comments what you think of this video and if this you know rings true for you. If you have a moon in Leo in your chart, also I wanted to let you know that I do offer individual planetary report readings in my shop now. So Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars. Chiron and the North and South Node, which will be labeled um, life purpose readings in my store. So say maybe you don't really understand one particular planetary energy in your chart. This will be something that's really good for you to help you understand this one placement and maybe why it doesn't typically fit, um, you know, the description, the normal descriptions that you read of that placement. Um, so I, I'm really enjoying doing those. Um, please check those out and uh, have a great day.